Right, hello YouTube. Uh, today we've got this lovely 2009 Ford C Max with the 2 litre TDCI uh, DW10 engine. And it's got a bit of an annoying squeak. Uh, it's a bit embarrassing now. This is my own car. And whenever you get looks from passers by, you know it's noisy and you know it's bad. So we're going to fix the embarrassment uh, with a new dry belt and a new tensioner which you can't quite see on this so let's give it a little listen oh straight away it's a bit noisy so i think we'll uh, get them changed right before we jack it up i'm just going to get this engine cover off they literally just pull off, there's not much to them and more often than not, as this one has, they leave the little rubber grommets on the points in the engine <coughs> so just remember to put them back on before you lose them or you go and sometimes they do pop off and fall down but luckily it hasn't on this one so he says And that is exactly why. Let's get some uh, pliers and let's try and retrieve that. Let's cut that out. There you go. And that is exactly why. And fall down, and they go missing. So let's have a quick look at what we've got. Now, I'm going to jack this up for the purpose of the video, but you don't have to. If you've got ramps, you've got Rhino ramps or whatever, you can do it. It's a, it's a bit too tight on this particular engine to um, really get a spanner down there or whatever you've got and get a good view of that. I mean, it is really tight down there. There's the bolt for the uh, tensioner. Uh, it is a bit tight. It looks like there's enough clearance, but really there isn't to be honest with you So it's easier just to do it from within the wheel well and uh, And get it off from the bottom really and then struggling up the top So I'm gonna get this jacked up anyway, and then we'll get on to taking this uh, belt off first And then let's get that tensioner off Right, we're just going to get this engine under tray off. Uh, it's 70 27 torques. Three at the front, so two either side, and then there's two right at the back. And just these off. Not to lose him. We're missing one there that's snapped off. And another one's missing as well. You literally just pull it off, out of the way. Okay, to save you the boredom, I've already taken the wheel off and I've just stripped the wheel arch liner back as well for the purpose of filming. You don't have to do it, but you guys won't be able to see anything if I didn't. So it's only a couple of T27 bits. Let's have a quick look under this belt and the tensioner. And there we go. Just um, above that yellow sticker, that's a 15 mil bolt and that's to relieve the tension on the belt. Just under it there, if you can make it out, it's a T47 bit. That's the actual bolt for the tensioner itself. But first things first, we need to get the belt off. Just a quick tip. Now on this particular car, or engine rather, it, it's actually a pretty simple system. It's the alternate right at the top there, all the way down to the aircon pulley, around the crank and just around the tensioner. 
So this one is as simple as they get, really. <clears throat> but some cars, you know, they can go all over the show and get a bit, so you can get a bit lost. So if it is a bit of a, a puzzle, just simply draw it. Either take pictures or draw it, and it'll just save you a whole load of hassle when you go to put it back on. So let's get this uh, belt off, and then we'll get this tensioner off. Right, I'm just going to get this belt off. Now, I've got a special drive belt tool for this, uh, but you can just use either a spanner or you can double up on a spanner. Uh, now, I've had to film it from the top there because it really is a bit difficult to see from down here. Uh, let me get this on. There we go. It's literally just an anti-clockwise turn. You can just slip it off from the crank. Let it go, and that is it. The belt is free. So we'll get this belt down, and then we'll show you getting this tensioner off. Right, apologise in advance, but it's a bit of a tight spot, this. Um, so firstly, it told a little white lie earlier on. It's actually a T50 Torx. Now, if you're going to do this, you might want to invest in a stubby set, because this regular one, just a bit of a tight fit in there. You can just about get it. But you've just got to be careful that you don't uh, damage this power steering pipe here because that would be an expensive mistake. Let's try and crack this loose. There we go. They're not that tight, these. So. can already feel it coming loose, that's good. We'll just do it by hand. A bit tricky this. Get there though, and find it. Finally. Right, so I finally found it. I'm just running it out by hand now. A few moments later. Right, finally, after what seemed like an eternity, we've got it out now. He says. There we go. That out. Okay, we're just going to have a quick look at the new and the old tensioner in the belt as well. Uh, firstly, though, and you don't need this, I've got a fancy little drive belt tool kit. You really don't need it. I mean, they're about 20 30 quid, something like that, if you want to. Once. They're not particularly expensive. But what you can do is you can double up uh, ring spanners like that. Just a word of caution though, just be careful because they can easily easily ping off and you really don't want to get your uh, head underneath one of them when it does because it will spring back and it will hurt trust me um the tensioners themselves the old one is only about i think it's three years old maybe about seventy thousand k on it something like that now i know these engines really well and the belt that's on it is pretty new to be honest um but even though you can't hear it i mean it feels good uh, but they do squeal when they're under tension they do squeal um, not particularly expensive so i'm going to bung another one on because to be honest it's just embarrassing really yeah i mean there's no real difference in the feel of them at all absolutely nothing uh, just a quick one as well the new one should come up with a uh, a locking pin 
don't try and pull it out until it's uh, bolted up on the car because you don't want to snap your fingers with that, believe me. Uh, the belt, we've got, I mean, this is an old one. And they're really not that warm, but on this particular engine, they've used one, and I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Might not be able to pick it up, but they use like a felt sort of finish to them rather than just out and out rubber like the most belts are. So I think that's why these squeal so much to be honest on this setup, but it's just what they are. So let's get these changed over and get rid of this bloody squeal. Right, just before we go to put it up, you'll notice on the tension itself it has a little locating peg. So you'll see where it fits at about the five o'clock position roughly. Uh, it's got the hole, so all we need to do, we just need to get it married up. And once it's in there, we can actually get it through. There, come on. there we go. Right, so once it's on, it'll just sort of uh, hold itself up. We'll get the bolt in and then we'll get it torqued up. Right, I've run it up as much as I could by hand. Uh, you don't have to torque it down, uh, but if you are going to, it's 48 newton meters, so you don't have to completely over tighten it. I'm just gonna get the torque wrench in it. Apologies, but it is a bit of a squeeze in there. It is like I say, it's a bit tight in that gap there. It's really difficult. Finally, done. Right, now let's get the belt on. Let's get this thing finished. Right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the belt fed down now from the top. Uh, just quick tip, just notice the direction of the writing and just make sure that it's uh, following the rotation of the engine, which in this case is clockwise, so from left to right. So we're gonna get this fed down from the top first. Probably not gonna be able to film it because as I say, it's a bit tight in there, but. Let's get it down to the bottom and then we'll show you what we do uh, with the tensioner. Right, that's the belt in now. So I've just prepared the pin just to be able to pull it because they are a bit fiddly. Once the, the belt's in place, it actually completely covers it from the bottom. So you do have to try and uh, nudge it out a bit from the top. Uh, just quickly before you actually do release the tension on it, just make sure that all the ribs in the belt are just sat within the ribs in each of the pulleys um, and the obviously the, the flat side, the back of it is on the back of the tensioner which is a smooth roller pulley so that's almost good to go now I'm just going to go and try and pop it out with a pry bar and that should be that let's give it a go, let's give it a nudge with this pry bar Hopefully it'll go. And there we go. The pin out. And there we go. So all nice and tensioned. Um, 
it's not the prettiest way of popping the the pin on them but as you can see the access in here just really isn't great at all that belt completely covers it you've got the pipes in the way you've got the chassis leg in the way but that's it and that hopefully now is the end of that annoying squealing noise right guys that's everything back together and back on the ground so i suppose now for the moment of truth let's fire this up fingers crossed we've got no more squealing Ah, there we go. Nice and quiet. Nobody's staring at me as I drive past them now. Let's get this shot off. Right, and there we go. That's another job ticked off the list. Stop people staring at me when I'm driving down the street. It's not too difficult a job. It's just a little bit fiddly at times because of the lack of access. But it needed doing and it's done now. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. And thanks for watching.